go into a protest. Apparently there's a virus. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> gonna have to speak in code today I'm trying not to say anything I know somebody is gonna show oh, the corona beer so when you hear me say something that doesn't make sense in your mind just know bacteria is something else 5p radiation is good sign me up on that one so we're downtown apparently they've been having these every week a protest every week you just, you can't find it advertised. I think the news covered it for like 10 seconds. In my opinion, here's my bottom line on it. There's some virus, it sucks. It kills some people who are weak. I just don't like that we're being lied to by the media. Just, that's all I want, transparency. Apparently the tests aren't even, you can't even test for this thing. They haven't identified it. There's smarter people than me saying this stuff. You know, when I hear about positive and negative testing, I laugh. First of all, the test that they're using uh, to, to diagnose COVID, the uh, SAR, the SARS-CoV-2 virus that's supposed to lead to the COVID-19 illness. The test that they're using, its inventor was very specific. It's not a diagnostic tool for medical purposes. It just picks up fragments of DNA sequences, basically. And so we have not yet isolated the virus. People have to understand this. Until you isolate, purify, and reproduce the virus, you can't be testing for the virus. If you don't know what it looks like, you can't be testing for it. What they are doing is guessing at a positive from the, uh, by stringing along certain DNA sequences. But when they test you, they're picking up all the garbage and, and other stuff in your system that's there. So for instance, if you had the Corona flu vaccine last year, you will test positive for COVID-19 because it's picking that up. Just the whole protocol shutting down the country, it doesn't make any sense. Like you're not allowed in a shopping store, a grocery store without a mask on but you can touch all the produce and feel all the tomatoes fine. Uh, how do they smell? <laughs> it makes no sense. So we're taking back our planet from the reptilians who drink baby blood. Who's with me? You're not with, it's all an agenda to keep rump out of the running. And now they just gave him the virus, but that's part of the plan. They have to give him the virus. And then John F. Kennedy Jr. comes back from his boat trip where he faked his death. And then he beats Biden in a rugby match. That's how it happens. There's my people. There's not a lot of them, but we're gonna storm your buildings, reptilians. Me and Steve, you look out. Maybe we'll do some interviews if I can work up the courage or if somebody shouts to me and I don't have to do anything. I'm walking into the fire, even though there is water surrounding us. It's good to feel like you're with people of like mind that aren't all sheep. You go on the subway, it's just all mass, like, yes, sir. I will obey, yes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Question authority, you son of a bitch. There's the spy truck. Oh, it's a spy truck, they're spying on us. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> Someone gave me a third eye. Can you see it? I'm woke. I'm so woke. I met people. I met Hi. them. <laughs> a couple of carnivores here. What have you done to veganism? Why'd you destroy it? Were you vegan once? Never. Never? Oh, okay. How come uh, you went I'm carnivore? Yeah. I'm carnivore, yes. But because I'm into fit, fitness and health and shit like that. Okay. And I just started noticing I was meaner when I was eating meat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things got better, right? And then I started helping other people with it. They were losing weight. Blood pressure's going down to a lot of people. Yep. She me. went from she lost went some weight too. I so lost I lost sixty pounds. I did a UFB show. I uh, I'll share my photos with you okay. on, online, but yeah, I just eat meat, farm from farm to table, eggs, meat, uh, cheese. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's not easy, okay? But you get creative with your foods, and and it and it's effective. What do you think of this whole situation? Uh, I think this is fantastic. People waking up, I think it's fantastic. We 
have to understand this is not about a virus. It's not. It's been too long. I mean, apparently they just came out on the news this morning and said that Help rebuild have, Toronto's economy. Yeah, while, Fuck we shut you. It, while we shut it down. Sorry. <laughs> they said on the news today that the hospitals are overrun with cases. Mm -hmm. Where her stepson was just in the hospital yesterday. It's empty. Mm -hmm. It's in the ICU. You can go by, it's only people lining up for tests. Mm -hmm. They're still empty. I mean, it's not about a virus, it's about control. We know this. Yep. It's easy to see. Mm -hmm. So, if you have everybody shut down, businesses closed, people in their homes, not making any money dependent on the government, now you're reliant mm -hmm. on every aspect of your life for them. Right? They're overstepping. They've been overstepping for the last, I don't know, 70 years? When was the TV invented? Yeah. Right? When did they start 40s. brainwashing people? Yeah. Well, that's when it was. Yeah, I'm tired of feeling like a criminal going into a grocery store without a mask. Yeah. I feel like I'm stealing or something. Right. So our son, our son, is scared to do this. He's scared to. He feels awkward not wearing a mask. Yeah. So now I'm having to tell him, "Come with me. We're going in. Yeah. We're doing this. We're standing together. Mm -hmm. You cannot allow this to happen. This is not like being in a part of society where you're volunteering. This is being." on you. Mm. You have to wake up and now they're attacking the children because the yeah. children are the easiest, the most pliable. Mm. We can't allow that to happen. So yeah. this has to grow. We have to grow and it's fantastic you're, you're here. Oh, thanks this for saying great. all that. Yeah, and thanks for great. coming out. We'll take our yeah. planet back. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. I love your content. Thank thanks you. A lot. Thank you. Thank you take much. care. <laughs> we got the news. The real news. I'm filming the news. So guys, want to know the line more about is a national and international symbol of resistance the people, created by the people during a time of struggle to two end two control, oppression and, and tyranny. Here, ta time Nationwide civil liberty groups have banded together to and fight for freedoms and ensure of the people's civil liberties and freedoms Canada are maintained. Are you with me? Hard to hear. Yeah. <laughs> we are the revolution. Or hold on. Should I say we are the evolution of the revolution? We will resist. We will not comply. We will not acquiesce. We will not be silenced. Thank you for joining us. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Because guess what? I believe in quantum energy. We don't separate because we're across town. We just have bigger shows, right? That's all it is. So hugs over masks, have Queen's Park protests for the kids, and that's great. Is anybody here with hugs over masks today? Anybody? Yeah, there's a lot of you. So if one of you guys from hugs over masks wants up to get up here later on and wants to say something, please, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you, my love. That goes in for the coffee later. Appreciate that. We might as well use this money while we still have it. So like I said, donations keep our actions sovereign as a movement so we don't need sponsors. Over at that table there, everybody knows who Helen is. Go and buy yourself some t-shirts for 30 bucks. The flags are for 45. And then you can join along and stuff. And I want to see. Everybody watch those Ottawa protests in Montreal with all those flags going on. I want that here. Thank you over there. That flag over there is a line flag. I want to see these all over the place because what's going to happen is when the Toronto people see this on the media, they're going to wonder, what does that flag mean? I'm a little scared. You should be scared because there's a bigger force out there coming at you and all we're saying is this, we're obvious. We're obviously standing here telling you 
That is not a neo-Nazi symbol. That is not oppression. That is open discussion and recourse and discourse with people that are patriots in Canada. Nothing's off the table. You are welcome to say what you have to say here because if you're here, you're fed up. Are you guys fed up at six months of this bullshit lockdown? Bullshit! 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 Freedom! We will resist! Thank you. Thank you so much. I get so jacked up and on here. Also, guys, I want to remember, I want you guys to remind yourself of one thing. When you're out there, please don't yell at people wearing their masks. Don't do it. I'll tell you why, okay? Do you want people yelling at you, telling you to take, put on your masks? No. So, don't be a hypocrite. Because you know what? I used to be a hypocrite. Sometimes I am. I used to be those people who didn't know the difference. But after I failed so many times in my life, the challenges didn't kill me. I learned to suck it up, buttercup, and to ask the right questions and say, why does my life suck? Well, I have to just look at people in front of me and what they're doing and go, I don't want to be like that, so I'm going to change my life. All you got to do is realize one thing, guys. I don't advise that you go to those testing places to start yelling at these places. Don't do it. Okay? Because the reason we're doing this so well, the reason we had upwards of 4,000 people last week is because we have protection from the police services. Give your hands up for the police people and protect us. We love our blue. Back the 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 blue. Yes. And say thank you. Because you know what, that black truck over there taking selfie pictures of us all? Yeah! Oh, 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 Masks are not part of our culture. So, if something happens where somebody attacks you on the street, you fight back with equal force and then back away and call attention to these people. You are allowed to stand up for yourself, but do not fight anybody. Don't start anything with anyone. Keep your peace. All right? Does anybody hear me? Yes or yes? You guys are awesome. The Quebec support is going to get more vocal. I happen to be French, okay? This man out there with a pretty jacket named Maxime Bernier is a French man. Does anybody see Maxime out there? Right? We love our French. I'm a French guy from New Brunswick, been here in Toronto for 20 years and I've lost it, but I still love my French people and I'll tell you one thing. When I was marching in the street with a quarter of a million people, I said to myself, I gotta bring this back home to the English and show these people what's going on. And I'm telling you, this crowd is excited. And when we get out there and we gridlock this city once again for four hours, people will wonder what's going on. Are you guys ready to show Toronto what's going on with us? Yeah. Yes or yes? Absolutely. The Quebec people are scared shitless right now because they're listening to media. Guys, over the last 25 weeks, have you been hearing from Rob Ford telling us what's going to happen? Right. And what's happened? Nothing. Right, even last week, you saw Chris Skye get a ticket for not quarantining. They misspelled his name, right? Even with our media person here, Beth, I told her a quote today. I said, you know what? I want them to give the organizers a ticket. I really do. Why? Because we have guys like Rocco Bellotti in my back pocket. Guess what? They're going to fight for me because they want a precedent-setting class action suit that's going to show that the government has no teeth. They say a whole lot with nothing back in them. And who's still here right now? We are. The people are here. This is the power. We will not acquiesce and we will not be silenced. All right? Freedom! 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 Liberté! Liberté! We accept nothing less than freedom and liberty. Nobody tells us what to do. We've been here for you since the beginning, and we're going to have this platform to take this in the street every Saturday, and nothing's going to take us away from that. Nothing. Freedom! 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 Freedom!
We accept nothing less. Yes, girl. I hear you. So the next time I'm gonna welcome up here. Tomorrow! I want to thank everybody who's messaged me lately. I really appreciate it. Thanks for following us on Twitter. If you haven't already, please go to at the line media. Get us all on Facebook. I've noticed tremendous growth through our posting. Your feelings matter to us. Your thoughts matter to us. And your rights matter to us. Now, if you remember earlier on when this all started, I mean, everybody was very heartfelt. Our governments told us that we had a very serious disease out there. We had to take care of ourselves. We had to stay away from each other. It was a, an extremely uh, contagious disease. So we all took this very seriously, didn't we? We all acted to support our government and to listen to what they told us. To take steps to protect our loved ones and ourselves. We took a whole bunch of time off work. We lost all kinds of money. As Lamont said, I'm a musician. Do I have any musical brothers and sisters here today? Thank you. We don't play anymore right now. All of our equipment is sitting around. We have technical people, creative people. Backline people, we have loaders, unloaders lying around and they're doing nothing right now. We are an economy worth eight billion dollars to Ontario. And right now, we don't have a lot of bands doing much of anything. Simply because we wanted to support the health of our fellow citizens. What started out as our showing responsible concern for everybody in Ontario and even around the world has now turned criminal. We're being manipulated, lied to. We're being abused. Our concerns, our hearts, our souls, our minds are being taken advantage of. And we're not even allowed to talk about what's happening to us. We're being censored. We have all kinds of incredible knowledge being crushed. The people with all the experience that we were taught to rely upon for years have been silenced so the government can push their agenda on us. Do you want that? No! Say no! 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 This is unimaginable that we have spent this much time. We were told two weeks to squash the curve. To flatten the curve. Now our economy is getting flattened. We have more disease going on beyond the virus. We have mental illness on the rise. We have spouses abused. People are frustrated. They're angry. They're concerned. They are uncertain about their futures. Do you want that? No! 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 Say no. We weren't allowed as children to say no. That was treated as some kind of defiance. But the reality is, we're allowed to say no as adults. We have a choice now. We cannot surrender our wills to this bullshit anymore. We are all smart people. We know what's going on. We saw it coming. Did anybody have that feeling inside? There's something strange going on around here. There's something weird. It's not making sense. This, the numbers aren't adding up. I mean, come on, we don't need to be scientists, rocket scientists, or any other form of medical position in order to realize what's really going on. Do we want this to continue? No! 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 no. Say no. Our children are being affected. They want them to wear masks in schools. Doctors are now seeing more infections on children's faces because of this. This is health. This is under the guise of health and safety, folks. We've been manipulated. We've been lied to. Do you remember in the very beginning, people were shitting themselves so bad they were running around to get all the toilet paper in the world. 
Unbelievable. We're not seeing that anymore. Costco is not losing their minds anymore. So listen, I went out last night for dinner. I stayed at my hotel at the Hilton. And I'm certain everybody here, not just myself, have been to restaurants where the staff are now the foot soldiers for the government, for the owners of these businesses who have also been manipulated. These are not doctors. They want your temperature. They want your fucking temperature. <laughs> they do. Thanks. I just went for dinner. <laughs> we cannot have this kind of impedance. The people in the hospitality sector are among the first representations of all of our towns. We must hold these people accountable. Please go to Facebook under the black, black and white, blacklisted, black and white, blacklisted businesses. Check that. mainstream media on this crap are we it's not going to happen so let me tell you who the media are today you you are the media see yourselves that way you have a voice use it and don't be afraid the line is here our government crossed it now listen folks we are not aligned with any corporation or political group we do this because we love our country, we love you, we love ourselves, we care about our families, we want to take care of people, we want to get the truth out there. We don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to be violent. We're a non-violent group. We just want people to understand the difference between fact and fiction. And we don't want anybody manipulating us anymore. Enough. Enough of this. Enough! We have a future for our children. We must do this work and make sure that our children know what's going on today in our world. So I'm going to ask you, we are not rich. It costs us thousands of dollars to do this kind of stuff. If you can find it within your piggy banks to give us a few dollars to help us, please do so. You can email us at Lamont at the line Canada.com or media at the line international.com as well. Catch us on Twitter once again at the line. Go and add us right now. I will hook you up. We want to share as much information with everybody. Remember, everybody benefits largely from the exchange of information, and there's piles of it. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, look out for your children and your families. Hold everybody accountable and read Rocco Galati's statement of claim. And understand your rights. 2, 7, 8, 9, and 15 are being busted up right now. Do you want this to go on? No! 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 Are you guys ready for Chris Sky? Come on, you big guy. Looks better. Look at this guy. Stanzi. Wife beater weather. Hey, CBC. Thanks for posting the fake news last week about me getting the fine, trying to make everybody upset with our Toronto Police Service for doing it publicly. I just want everybody to know something. The moment I got here today, the very first thing that happened 
was the commander of the Toronto Police Service came up to me and the first thing he did was promise me to ensure your safety, uphold your rights, and let you know that this is still our country. So, before I go any further, I want everybody to look around at the police around us. Everybody, take a good look. Look at these men, look at these women, standing up for you, standing up for your freedom, connecting with the community. I want you to give them the biggest round of applause you can give them right now. Funded. They do not need re-education. They don't need any of that. If our government truly had the best interests of the people, their police service, and the communities at heart, they would be raising up their salaries and taking off their masks. <laughs> Trying to use the Toronto Police as an example for us to follow is a great idea, but not when they're wearing the masks and not when it's about compliance in defiance of unethical orders. We need to get past this. And what we're seeing right now, what we're seeing right here between us, between the police, is what I've been talking about. It's that truth, it's that positivity, it's that unified non-compliance. That's what we need to win this. The next step is coming. You saw the restrictions got a little bit tighter this week. And next week they're going to get a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter until once again they've locked us down. This time people are aware. This time people are not afraid. This time we need to unite our churches, our other institutions with our business owners. And they need to come together in one voice and say, we will not close. This is our country. We have the freedom to work. We have the freedom to worship. We have the freedom to pursue our livelihoods. We have churches signing declarations that they will not close. We have bar owners banding together in defiance. We need to bring these people together under one banner. And that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my initiatives that I started way back in April. It's called Back to Work. It's my nonprofit organization. And we saw the lockdown coming. We knew it was gonna kill jobs. Just so you know, our country had 1.15 million small businesses at the start of 2020, representing 97% of all the businesses in Canada and over 70% of our jobs and the backbone of our economy and our middle class. After six months of a two-week lockdown, we lost over a quarter million businesses and countless millions of jobs. Our GDP shrunk double digits. Our deficit ballooned to hundreds of billions of dollars. But as soon as they started opening again, people got lulled back into compliance, thinking it was all over. No, no, no. I kept back to work going because I knew the second wave was coming. And the second wave will be far more devastating to our businesses, our economy, our religious institutions, our schools, etc. So what does back to work do? We unite the people together under one banner. We have a network. We have lawyers. We have a legal fund. I am going to give each and every one of you my personal cell phone number right now. Right now. It's 416-400-9994. And now if you keep your church open, you keep your store open, you keep your bar open, and anybody from the government gives you trouble, you call me. And I will bring us all there. I will bring hundreds of people. I will bring media. We will have a team of lawyers. We will have unlimited funding and we will make it the biggest circus they have ever seen and they will rule the day that they mess with that business. That's what United Non-Compliance is. Just like we're here at a protest. Thankfully we have amazing police. But if we didn't, if we had Australia, 
They still couldn't stop what we're doing today. Why? Because there's too many of us united with a good purpose and honest intentions. And you can't fight that with negativity. The more you fight it with negativity, the stronger we get. And now we have gotten to the point where the tables have turned. We are no longer the meek and mild walking into compliance. We are now the people that have the foresight to see that's coming and to prepare for what's coming and to stand up in one voice and say, freedom is essential. Yeah. How do we know we're making it up? Freedom! 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 Our elected officials are running scared. They won't even name their experts. They won't give the data. Why? Because in order to extend an emergency, you need to demonstrate justification. And they don't have it. Cases do not equal justification. If every single person here gets a cold, but none of us get sick enough to go to the hospital or die, how did that impact our public health system? How did that impact our country? Answer, it didn't. Cases don't matter, especially when half of them are false positives. This is all a red herring to try to lull you into submission, but it stopped working. It's not working and it won't work. How do you know we're making headway? How do you know they're running scared? I don't know if you noticed, but you saw Maxime Bernier from the PPC walking around. So we're attracting leaders of political parties, and we attracted one that's even more important in my eyes. Mr. Rob Carbone from the Republican Party of Canada has taken notice of our cause, has taken notice of what's going on. And like me, he is for freedom. Like me, he is for getting people back to work. And like me, he knows that the way forward is one voice, united, saying no to this tyranny. No to unethical orders and no to their new normal. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get mad, don't show despair. That's what their propaganda is all about. Fear, lies, despair. They want the people to be against each other. They want us yelling at the mask wearers. They want the mask wearers yelling at us. No, show them compassion, show them love, show them respect that simple when you have the mindset of positivity they can't fight you how do they fight you how do they fight what we're doing here why can't they stop it it's been going on for weeks and weeks and weeks and it's only growing there's a reason for that it's because we're on the side of good our intentions are pure and genuine and that's why we are going to win that's why we can't be stopped but we must remain vigilant for evil to succeed all it takes is for good people to do nothing. Well, I consider myself a good person, so the last thing I'm going to do is nothing, and I hope all of you feel the same way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris Sky. Oh, oh, dropping the mic already, so early. Mic drop. Mic drop. Can I check out the back? Over the course of time, some victims do come to develop positive feelings towards their attackers. They may be able to feel as if they share common goals and goals. Meaning if you don't yeah. speak out against something, then it can be assumed that you agree with it. It is no coincidence that the countries who have had massive protests and spoke out against these lockdown measures are no longer under lockdown. And the countries that have risen up in united non-compliance, such as Australia, are facing harsher lockdown measures. And it's coming here to Canada Montreal just announced that they can go into your house without a warrant to make sure that you don't have company over, only people from your household. That's a good way for people to get shot. Sorry again. Speak the truth! Spider-Man! Everybody give a hand up! You made I'll cut this short, I'll make it quick. No vaccine! No vaccine! No vaccine! to let you know if you ever need Spider-Man and don't know where to look, you can always find Spider-Man on the web. 
I wanted to talk to you briefly today. I wanted to tell you about Vaccine Choice Canada. One of our great benefits is membership, which is $40 per year vaccine that will change your RNA and DNA forever. I have a word for you to look up on a search engine. You can look it up later at home. The word is endogenous. You can look that up on a search engine, preferably not one beginning with the letter G. We recommend perhaps something more benign that's more user friendly and does not sell your privacy. Start page would be an option. DuckDuckGo would be another option. So here is um, a little uh, meaning and a lesson in words for you. I'm going to give you uh, three phrases and tell you what they equal. So you have a modified endogenous RNA vaccine. Modified endogenous RNA equals Moderna. They actually flaunt it in our face as though we wouldn't figure it out. I love hearing people like this talk because you know what? There's a big difference between reading stuff on social media because you're always wondering, is this for real? Whose agenda is this? But when you hear these people that have been facing this way longer than six months before we came here. Listen, five years ago, when I was over at that channel down the street and Hugh Riley and his gang were taking a look at Pizzagate, Five years ago, I was like, wow, is this for real? It's for real. All of these experts, these people that are talking about this, have been researching this for years, folks. Myself, Mentor World Service Corporation. I had my corporation since 2012, and it was meant to bring all of this forward. But when these guys threw down, I was like, wait a second here. Two weeks later, I wasn't seeing people dying in the streets. All I heard was people getting real depressed, wondering what was going on, because we weren't hearing the truth from people. That's being said, guys. I just want to get a, more, a couple more people up here to say some good words, and then we're going to hit the street. But I'll tell you, one of the people, or should I say, a couple of the young people that I want up here next are the girls from the line and it hugs over masks. Welcome up, the children! <laughs> Here you go, guys. I'm going to give the mic to Bridget first. Hold on. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay, very happy. Uh, there's lots of people here. I think definitely more than last time. Uh, and I'm very proud, and I, I love everybody here. And um, give yourself a round of applause. I want to stress the importance of feeling love with everybody. Uh, because that's what they want. They want everybody to turn against each other, and you can see that. We see so much hate. Every once in a while, there's someone who throws middle fingers at us. But thanks. That's not. I don't like that. <laughs> but you know, if you feel the love between your friends, you know, we've made our best friends here. You feel that, and it, it makes a difference having people. Um, you know, when you're not wearing a mask, you're told you're selfish and. And you need to start caring about other people. When was it selfish to take care of yourself and to make your own medical decisions? Everybody here is pretty, pretty much on the same page. We know that it's no longer about a virus, it's about control. You know, they're stepping on us and they keep kicking harder. And, you know, they expect us to just sit at home and comply. I will not comply. We will not comply. ourselves and our country. It's our country. Yeah. This is our rights, our freedom, and our lives. You know, stand up for it. So if you are uh, all offense about whether or not to show up, just just show. Like you know, you come just it's worth listening to because if you have a feeling that something's wrong, then do something about it. So show you care. If your city's not doing anything, then start that up. Find out what's happening and, and show that you care. Show that your voice matters because it does. Um, yeah, so for everybody that is here, I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm so happy. Like just looking, looking out and seeing so many people, it's, it's crazy. Rise up! Rise up! Rise up! Rise up! Rise up! Rise up!
lot of people from the Amish community came. You made a very nice, very nice tagging to the group. Thanks for coming. Um, also, the march last week was very nice. A lot of people, I mean, CDC said that we were like 300 people. We were over 3,000. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you still think that they're real news, well, maybe not. <laughs> Fake, okay? Last week I also met with, uh, I heard that there was a mom and two daughters on the other side of the street. I started talking to them. Uh, the mom, I think, this is what I heard. She wanted the two daughters to come and maybe talk to some of us socialize. Daughters were wearing masks, though they were my age, and of course when you're around my age, you're allowed to make your own decisions. Yeah. But they, they were so scared that one of them started hyperventilating when I started talking to them. Do you think that that's normal? No. I really hope that all the kids that are feeling the exact same way, I really hope that they aren't traumatized for the rest of their life. You're traumatizing your children, parents. You are. People are getting way more aggressive. Way more. CBC, stop telling all of the people to start shaming us. We don't shame you for wearing a mask, so don't shame us. Shame on CBC! I mean, all of us, even the kids, we've, we've been shamed. I mean, I go to my gym and my gymnastics a lot, and all the kids kept asking me, why don't you just wear a mask? Because the head coach told me I had to put a handkerchief in front of my face if I wouldn't wear a mask. Like, Fine, I'll just do this. But now, my coach is telling me to cover my face with I mean, what do you think you're doing? Yeah. Three of the kids in my class already got tested, and there's a testing center right outside my gym. Yeah. People, stop getting tested. Even They're even testing their little kids for having the sniffles. Doesn't matter if it's just a mouth swab. I don't care. It's DNA harvesting and do your own research.
Yes, there's been. When will you realize that this none of this makes sense? This is a pull for power. We need to stand strong together. Us kids, it's been five or five or six of us plus Joey, he couldn't make it today. But we've been standing, trying to spread our message further. We spoke in Ottawa in front of 30,000 30, people. I was in Montreal when there was 200,000. We need to keep going.
Who's ready for a march? <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for the speakers. I'd love to have some more people on, but you know what? We got to get on the street. We got next week to do this. Yeah, they've got this, right? inspires me so much the kids just standing up little kids what was I doing when I was how old are they 13 I was playing video games skateboarding actually taking mushrooms just regular button mushrooms fantastic so that was more fun than I thought it was gonna be that was inspiring way to go people it was very peaceful we're not Asking to kill the police. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was good. So, let me know what you thought. Did you watch the whole thing? You better have. You better have. That's gonna be fun to edit. Am I gonna leave? Police, good job. Thanks for protecting us. Am I gonna go? Thanks for watching and thumbing up the video. Thumbs down. If you're holding a protest to give crickets legal rights, it's not going to happen. I know you're passionate about it. I respect that. Just maybe give up the dream. It's not going to happen. Where do I go? Over here. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you later.